One of the many revelations about Kanye West that came to light recently was that he developed an opioid addiction after having liposuction. Yeah. You heard me, liposuction. I mean, are you as shocked about this as I am? When did this even happen? Why did this happen? You can never really know or be for sure when it comes to Kanye, but I did a little digging to get the bottom of this and Kanye went under the knife. Now what's going on guys? My name is Sal Nicole and this is Before and After Transformations. I would love to hear from you guys so let me know who you want me to talk about next in the comments down below. You can hit me up on my Instagram at Sal Nicole. Now let's get started. Kanye, 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 Kanye. Now let's take a quick glance at Kanye's body transformation since he stepped out in the music scene. In its early years of his career, Kanye seemed to have his weight under control and was always able to keep a relatively tight body, especially when he was dating Amber Rose. During this period, you could tell Kanye's physique was looking tight during the course of their relationship and that he was working out a lot. Geez, remember when they were a couple? God. We start to see a change in Kanye's body once he married Kim Kardashian and the evolution of the dad bod began. He started wearing looser sweatshirts and pants that did nothing to really complement his figure. There's been speculation that his weight gain could possibly be linked to his mental health issues. We have to remember the events that have happened in Kanye's life, from the alleged psychotic break, hectic work schedule, the robbery of Kim, and of course being diagnosed with bipolar can really add up relatively quickly. It's no secret that when your mental health tanks, your physical health also takes a hit as well. People with mental health issues tend to pay less attention to their daily health routines. This means that they could turn to food for comfort in order for themselves to feel better. All those poor food choices can go Contribute to an extreme weight gain, and as far as going to the gym, I'm sure that this is a much more difficult task to achieve when you're going through as much as Kanye has been. Another factor that could have contributed to Kanye's weight gain is that usually individuals with mental health issues are prescribed medications which can often promote weight gain. You can imagine how hard it must be dealing with these types of stresses while being ridiculed online for your weight gain. I definitely feel for Kanye, I think people's reactions online to his weight gain were extremely harsh. Speaking of negative comments online, Wendy Williams was not holding back on her opinion on Connie's body. In fact, I think she took it a little too far. During her talk show, she wanted to poke fun at Connie's appearance and even compare him to Rob Kardashian. Now look honey, this is not just the usual weight. Look, he's got fatty knock knees which run in the family, so welcome to the club. He needs a breast reduction. His belly is ew, just slovenly. He look worse than Rob Kardashian on Rob's worst day. Forget the idea that he's wearing the Make America Great Again hat. We all want America to be great again. I'm talking about the neck down. What a mess. She continued to tear into Connie and Robert's appearance. At least Rob gained his in the belly and the booty. Connie blew up like a woman. You know how hard you might have to eat to get like this as a man? Now we all know that Connie can be hard to take in sometimes. And maybe we all don't agree with his behavior or opinions, but comments like these are a little bit out of line. To judge someone's body like that on national television is never okay, and she clearly does not care about Kanye's current fragile state of mind. Wendy sent out an awful message which publicly body shaming Kanye. She pretty much is saying that anyone with a body type like Kanye and doesn't have an athletic body are disgusting, which is never okay to say. I'm gonna have to say, shame on you, Wendy. Now let's get to Kanye's liposuction. During a recent interview with TMZ, Kanye was open about the reason behind the decision to go under the knife and get lipo. Kanye was afraid that people would make fun of him the way they did Rob Kardashian who didn't attend Kim's wedding because of his size. Kanye stated this, I had plastic surgery because I was trying to look good for y'all. I got liposuction because I didn't want y'all to call me fat like you called Rob at the wedding I made him fly home before me and Kim got married. I didn't want y'all to call me fat so I got liposuction, right? There's no denying that Kanye's body is back on track, but it's kind of sad that he took such drastic measures and went through a procedure that also killed his mom, if you guys didn't forget. All because he was afraid of what others would think. <clears throat> Wendy Williams. I really do hope Connie stays strong and gets better. Alright guys, that's a wrap on today's video of Before and After Transformations. My name is Sal Nicole and thanks for watching this video. Let me know who you want me to document next and you can reach me via my Instagram page at Sal Nicole. Bye guys. Connie, Connie, Connie.